Hey everyone and welcome back to BMX News. This is a weekly BMX News show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week that I think you guys might care about. That being said, I'm getting ready to leave for LA here in like four hours. So I'm going to make this one as quick as I possibly can. And the first thing that I want to talk about is the biggest thing that happened in the past week. And that is the Battle of Hastings. We all know about it. We all saw it. We all saw Tom Justice win it with an absolutely insane boofanoo that I'll put right here because... You just need to see it. And with this contest always comes a huge amount of content and stuff to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about is one that I think a lot of people need to see just to kind of get a background on the people who run Source BMX, run Source Park, and run the Battle of Hastings. Because at the surface, it's really easy to look at Source BMX and compare it to Dan's comp and see how there's similarities there, but the differences lie in the people that run them. And so the first thing that I want to talk about today is a video where Kyle Carlson sat down with the founders of Source BMX and asked them a few questions and talked about the origin and backstory behind the Battle of Hastings. And seriously, this one is an absolute must watch for anyone who enjoys Battle of Hastings and anyone who doesn't really know anything about Source BMX. I'll admit before watching this interview, I had never even seen or heard of the guys who founded Source BMX. And after watching it, I'm fans of the guys. They are super genuine and very into it for BMX. These guys just wanted to do a contest that wasn't like the other contests out there where sometimes you've got security guards around the riders and the riders are in one area and the watchers are in this area. They want to do something different that kind of brings everyone together. And then they also wanted to do something that brought the street and the park type people together. And that's why they have the plaza session where they do the video part where it's kind of a thing where riders who wouldn't normally compete in a contest and are more of video part riders have a chance to film a video with a partner and make a video in the street section of Source Park and then those videos get judged and ranked and the scores from those get added into the other parts of the contest where they've got the bowl and the finals and all of that and it's just really awesome to hear that there's genuine people who really care for BMX behind Source BMX and the Battle of Hastings and Source Park. The first video of riding from Battle of Hastings that I want to talk about is a best of Battle of Hastings 2019 video from our BMX. This is just over 10 minutes of all of the best stuff from the contest. If you're going to watch only one video from this contest, this is going to have to be the one after you at the very least listen to the interview with the guys who founded Source BMX. This is the one that's going to have all of the most insane stuff that you're going to want to see. After that, we've got all of the Plaza Session videos in the order that they placed within the contest over on BMX Union, all on one page for you guys to easily find and see them all. There's also links in the description to everything that I'm talking about today in the order that I talk about it. The next video highlight that we have is the finals highlights that starts out with that super insane foofanu that came from Tom Justice. Then we've got one one that's kind of a little different and this one is with Tom Dugan going around talking to people and he called it himself during the entire process shitty interviews with Tommy Dugan and honestly it's not bad at all it was pretty entertaining throughout so if you wanted a break from the riding stuff but you still wanted to watch Battle of Hastings content there's a video for you after that we've got best trick highlights this has Morgan Wade going completely insane dropping hammers everywhere. If you haven't seen the highlights on Instagram or Facebook or somewhere of all of the absolute insane stuff Morgan Wade did during Best Trick, you're going to want to check this one out because he legitimately dropped the hammer. I said drop the hammer twice because the next video that I want to talk about is Morgan Wade's drop the hammer section because this was posted up after he dropped so many hammers during the best trick contest. And I figured, hey, I'm going to throw it in here because I know a lot of you are going to enjoy this one. And it's pretty amazing at the level that Morgan Wade has maintained throughout all of these years of BMX that he's been in it. And just the fact that he is still one of the most insane people on any course or contest that he's involved with. And in speaking about Battle of Hastings, I should probably tell you guys who won the Battle of Hastings and go through the placing, at least the top three. So as you know, Morgan Wade won best trick, but when it comes to the actual contest between the plaza riding and the finals in the bowl, third place is Team Dan Paley. And on Team Dan Paley, we've got, we've got Sam Jones, Alex Donaghy, Alex Heim, and of course, Dan Paley. 
In second, we've got Team Lewis Mills. And on Team Lewis Mills, we've got Dan Lacey, Garrett Reynolds, Bruno Hoffman, and Lewis Mills. And then the winning team, and the one that I am seriously the most psyched about, is Team Sergio Leos. They took the win. You saw why. Everything they did was super awesome. And Tom Justice not only did that giant fufanu, but also we had Sergio Leos in there doing a huge downside foot plant on one of the walls in the bowl. So the people on Team Sergio Leos were, of course, Tom Justice and Sergio Leos. And then we had Simone Baracco and Courage Adams. So two of the best street riders out right now. I was going to say that this team is extremely stacked, but honestly, when you look at the top three, the entire top three teams were extremely stacked. Lewis Mills and Garrett Reynolds on the same team. I mean, seriously, then you've got Alex Donicky and Alex Heim together. Just Everybody in this contest is amazing, and there's a reason why it's the best contest in BMX right now. And with that, that's the last thing that I want to talk about with Battle of Hastings. So let's move on to some other stuff. The first thing is a video from the Powers Bike Jam with Merit BMX. So this one's the Merit dudes hanging out at the jam and doing some pretty awesome stuff as well. Honestly, I watched this one, and it's probably my favorite video of this week. Starts out with Bad Maddie doing a double peg grind. Sir, not saran wrap heel clicker doing a double peg heel clicker and then it's got charlie crumlish doing some stuff montana ricky's in here dude in here i think it's justin did a double tire ride on the spine to x up lander and then he went around a curve wall ride in his x up ride just total insanity and honestly i think this is a good one for anyone to watch especially because it's only two minutes long then we've got some stuff to talk about with the 2019 vans bmx pro cup world championship from their tour that they had this year it's going down this weekend tomorrow huntington beach california world championship I'm going to be there. I'm pretty freaking stoked. We're leaving for California here in a couple hours, and we're going to this contest tomorrow, and I cannot wait to go and hang out with everybody and hopefully film some sort of video for you guys to see. And in speaking about this, we've got two short videos to talk about. The first is a teaser video for the contest, and the second is a Huntington Beach Park preview with Chris Fox. And since this week's news video is kind of jumbled up already and all over the place, we're not going to go in order of products or any of that crap. We're just going to keep moving through what I have to talk about. The first thing here is a throwback video from 2008, and it's a mosh video part. I'll give you one second to go down in the comments and leave a guess as to whose mosh video part you think it is. If you already know, don't cheat. But here you go. One, two, three. Leave the comment. It's Ian Schwartz. So if you guys are fans of Ian Schwartz, which I think anyone who was around in 2008 was a fan of Ian Schwartz, you're going to want to check out this video. And there's a few more videos that came out this week that I want to talk about to make things a little bit more diverse and well-rounded as far as the riding styles go. The first is a video with James White called Eye of the Tiger, and this is a Flatland video. I know there's at least a few of you out there that want to watch this one. And then after that, we've got a Cody Diggs video from Relic. So this one is trail riding all the way throughout. I know that there's at least a few of you that are going to watch this one and then just to make it even more well-rounded let's throw in the hitching post video that i put up this week with mike potosny at the wheel mill after that let's talk about one product related thing that is the free night planetary free coaster if somehow you haven't seen one of the videos that i've made about this free coaster check out the playlist right here and watch some of these videos because this thing is amazing and i want to throw it in here because i know that there's probably a few of you who might not have even heard of this hub yet with that that being said, that's the last thing I have to talk about this week. I will catch you guys at Huntington Beach tomorrow for the Vans BMX Pro Cup. Super excited. Subscribe if you are new and thank you for watching and I hope to see you in tomorrow's video. Goodbye.